We are uh, very happy and we're honored that you're here for the beginning of the BMW Guggenheim Lab. This is our first venture outside of New York, so we can offer more than 100 events. They're meant to be somewhat provocative and certainly things that you can think about and we hope enjoy at the same time. The lab is a box of ideas, basically, and one of the main components of that box of ideas is participation. It's not just a box where we're trying to put ideas in, it's a box where ideas are also coming out. So there's this constant exchange between the lab team members that are developing the program and the people that attend, and there's this constant dialogue, like a two-way dialogue happening all the time. We're already starting to see the differences between the lab in New York and the lab in Berlin. While in New York, the lab was slightly more theoretical, in Berlin, we're focusing on making. So uh, we've already been up and running for a week, and we've already been doing and learning by doing things with our hands. The lab is created to look at the process of finding the answers to questions about the future of cities, not necessarily from a planning perspective, but from understanding the underlying engines that drive the city. What are the forces that are often driven by everyday people? And how do we design better experiments to uncover those forces? So that's why it's a lab. It's not necessarily there to find conclusions. It's there to formulate experiments. And some experiments are gonna go great and some experiments are gonna fail, but that is the process of, of science. In this workshop, we are hoping to reach more of the regular audience, people who are normally perhaps not um, engaged in creating these high technical devices, so that they can create their own technology, their own electronic devices, and feel empowered over the things around them, rather than kind of buying and consuming what is there, creating things that they want, that they need, that others don't know. The urban living problem that concerns me the most is transport and mobility because everyone has to get somewhere. So we, although we aspire to live in self-contained communities, that's not always possible. And so we always need to be able to be mobile and to travel and to have transport to get around. Yeah, for me it's always important from different perspectives to look at a theme. So quasi transdisziplinär oder interdisziplinär vorzugehen. Und deswegen habe ich aus verschiedenen ähm, wissenschaftlichen Disziplinen, aber auch aus der Kunst Leute eingeladen, die entweder einen Vortrag halten oder einen Workshop geben. Ich denke, dass es oft auch Disziplinen sind oder äh, Zugänge zu etwas, von denen man vorher gar nicht ahnt, äh, dass sie einen dann zu einer Lösung bringen. I think the lab is really platform for people to talk about cities. And the interesting thing today is that participation in urban discussions uh, is radically changing. All of this is now entering architecture and urban planning. Really, if you want to solve tomorrow's big challenges in urban areas, we really need to come together and come together from many disciplines. One wish for people coming to the lab is really to get new tools to deal with urban issues and uh, understand that the way our cities will be tomorrow is in our hands. In a certain sense, that the best way to predict our urban future is to invent it. Wake up and follow me this time Don't stop and we won't be the same I know we are ready to cross the line Everything will cease when we strike again Wake up and follow me this time Everything will cease when we strike again this, this feeling of connectedness and community is something that's difficult to find in a city. Everyone's always in a rush, like walking by each other, and just having a place where you can get down and talk about things that you're passionate about was wonderful. So uh, I loved all the people that I got a chance to meet, and I hope they continue to connect later.